the stories of torture and trauma that have occurred as a result of the spineless and cruel policies of successive Australian governments when it comes to the treatment of asylum seekers and refugees. Now that we've got Turnbull, we think we need to send a very strong message to Turnbull that the Prime Minister may have changed, but the refugee policies haven't changed and there's a, a movement which is going to keep fighting to actually change those refugee policies. The fact that our Prime Minister can stand up with such hypocrisy and talk about the fact that he cares about violence against women when he is unable and unwilling to do anything about the protection of these women that have been raped. Many people will be thinking about the young Somalian woman who's been tragically raped on Nauru under our care. We have a duty of care to her. She is not, as far as I know, yet on a plane to come to Australia to get a termination. And until she's off Nauru to Australia where she can get the proper treatment that she actually needs, then Malcolm Turnbull's uh, words or his credentials about refugees are, are worth nothing at all. Violence against women does not allow you to choose which violence against which women you stand up against. Free, free the refugees! Free, free the refugees! This is a a humanity thing, you know, we are a human family and we have human rights. We have signed and ratified the Refugee Convention, Australia has. And the policies for many, many, many years now have all gone directly in the opposing direction. So I'm here to stand up for them, for these victims of wars that we participate in as a country. These detention centres, which are really refugee torture centres, they need to be shut down and we need to bring these people to Australia to be rehabilitated here. We have said an end to mandatory detention and we have said that the Pacific solution is not a solution, it is just more cruelty. And yet what we see is ongoing commitment to cruelty. Take off! Take off! Refugees are welcome here! Refugees are welcome here! I want to talk about the secrecy. Secrecy is the stuff of dictatorships. No one really knows what's going on there because the Australian media or no international media at the moment can get on there. We don't know what the situation is for other women in terms of health treatment on Nauru, which has effectively become a prison island. We are torturing people in our own name. Australia is torturing asylum seekers. For as long as we create more wars, there will be more refugees. For as long as we don't address climate change, there will be climate change refugees now. We are responsible in part for this and we need to pull our weight and bring the refugees here and settle them in a safe and humane way. The cruelty to asylum seekers and refugees detained in this country and offshore as a result of this Australian government's policy is unacceptable and must end. <laughs>